Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Morning. In this episode, we're gonna do something that's a little bit uh, fun. It's a it's a one example setup where you kind of uh, creating this uh, water ripple um, that you might see when when is it raining. Like uh, if you look at a puddle, water water puddle, and you can see like a like a ripple of water, like a circular ripples, and this is uh, one way you can approach it. So I'll try to do it um, using sphere chalk, um, but I'll show you um, if you want to do it manually. This is how you probably can do it. Uh, you start with a like a grid, and this grid let's make it like twenty by twenty subdivisions. So and then let's increase this, and let's save this as water puddle. And the next thing we need to do is just to turn this into a dynamic paint canvas. And then we set this into wave. And that's the trick right there. Um, and then now the next thing you need to do is just to create a, a dynamic paint brush. And I will be using this, uh, this box right here. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, you can see the effects is actually already happening. And if I run this, uh, the dynamic pen will handle everything. So you can see, um, actually it does all the job. I'll, I'll increase the simulations to 1000. And with this cube, instead of a cube, I will turn it into um, like a sphere, I am just use one subdivision, subsurface, and then put this before the dynamic paint. And by doing that, we have this kind of effect. You can of course increase the the subdivisions for the this uh, water puddle. Um, I might do that actually. Increase it by one, simple, and playback. So I don't want I don't need to go to high resolution, but you can try it uh, if you want. Okay, so we have that effects happening, which is good. Now the next thing we want to do is just uh, simply make a bunch of these guys right here. Uh, of course, you can do the same thing using Blender particles as well. Um, it's not actually that hard uh, to set up, but I will just use a bunch of this uh, sphere just for example. I will turn this guy into a wire and then make it a bit smaller. So you got the idea, we, we just simply gonna make a bunch of this guy and then kind of doing this stamping uh, using spread out. So that's uh, that's the idea. So I will make how many? Um, let's make eight of them. So I'll duplicate it and then make, um, okay, I'll make five for now, five of them and then I will reset the position uh, real quick. So Alt G, and then it's uh, all this cube brush is uh, placed in the at zero zero zero. But we're gonna soon change this using SpreadShop. So let's switch to compositing, and we're gonna work with the nodes. Um, this is gonna be very very easy um, if you know what you're doing. So we have five objects. Uh, name cube uh, as a brush and then we want to be able to control all of them so we just need to use this uh, bpy data and get object id selector and then let's also get the object id filter so this guy object id selector by default will grab all the mesh including the grid floor we don't want that we just want to grab the cube so we just type in cube here and you can check it out with stethoscope okay we are grabbing all the cube objects and the next thing we want to do is to set the object and just pipe in these objects into this guy and then with the delta locations now we, we want to place the objects in a random position so we're gonna use random vector we have five objects so just um, assign five objects there. Now 
our brass is now in random position we yeah that's cool but we don't want to do that we want to kind of flatten the random value so we just use the rewire vector rewire and give a scalar to the z-axis and then now we can control these objects in the z-axis so they are still in the random positions we can adjust the scale for example and randomize the seed but at least it's flattened flat on the z-axis based on this uh, scalar value all right now the next thing we want to do is simply just to animate this guy uh, randomly um, for that we can use the another of object id set and set this to location over here we, we actually um, kind of uh, give it the default uh, default position for each of the brush but in here we are actually animating each and every objects just plug in a vector value and then just animate this ups and down but in the random random position um, I mean if I just use uh, frame info and math sine wave into this position it's gonna do it for all the objects um, so that's that's kind of work with see the brush is kind of doing it in the same spot over and over again we want to control that a little bit and we want to also uh, have a little bit of control over the amplitude so let's have a look so currently it's uh, a little bit too fast so I will slow down the time make it 0 0.3 So now it's starting to work better. Now we just need to add some kind of randomizations to the time. So we just need to offset it. So it's pretty simple. Just assign a math value and then use a, this offset. And assign a random number generator. Float maybe we have five brushes so it's assigned five here give random value between minus 50 and 50 maybe and plug this into the time and now we should have kind of like a randomly animated brush for our rain objects um, you can also kind of you randomize the seed and to create some kind of ripple that's kind of work as well probably would be better is uh, if we we don't just simply randomize the seed but in, in this case we can simply do that and see this actually generate the effects anyway um, I'll scale the grid a little bit and then let's see let's see, have a look so in fact this effects actually give you more more realistic kind of rain but it's kind of heavy rain you know Yeah, that's actually not, not too bad. I will give it color. Uh, water, like blue color water maybe, but real water doesn't have color, but it's kind of okay. So that's kind of random. Um, if you want to make it less random, maybe the seed, uh, this seed is not changing every, every time, so we need to use math and maybe this modulo and set it to 50 so now let's have a look so after every 50 frames the puddle uh the location of the puddle will change maybe set it to 20 30 frames and scale i'll scale the random a little bit more we can have uh, more brushes if you like currently we only have five but that's, that's okay see um, even this effects is already quite nice. I'll try using matcap and reflections. Yeah, maybe smooth this. So I think yeah, it's, it's kind of like um, 
OpenGL kind of shader now. It's kind of unusual. You can of course randomize the brush as well to get a different size of uh, puddle like a ripple. Let's randomize it. Checks and then scale. Random number generator. Give random scale between 0.2 and 1. Plug into this guy. Um, doesn't like it. Okay, it's expecting a vector. Scale 1, 2, 3, and plug this into that guy. So now our brush repo is all in different size. Maybe point. 0.1 to 0.5, so not too big. I think that's not bad. It's quite decent. Um, so whether I can find different kind of reflection. Well, I guess this is as good as it can get. Uh, so we can, uh, like I said, we can have more of these uh, brushes. I can just duplicate all of them manually or just procedurally instance it using animation node. It doesn't doesn't really matter, really. I'll duplicate it and reset the position and increase the number here. 10, 10, and 10. Update it. Now we should have more ripple. Maybe the ripple is too fast. We can control it over here with the time uh, point 0.1. And maybe we want to hide all the ripple. We're gonna hide all the the brush and then we just get this water ripple. So that's an idea, really. Um, there are many different ways to approach this. Be, um, it can look better if you have some kind of like a, you know, like rain, have like a, this thing that's sprout out. Perhaps if you, you can also just use the shader and displacement. Um, like open open shading language can do this as well but I guess this is as simple as I can explain it but the concept is there uh, so yeah feel free to try this and modify it uh, to your liking maybe the ripple position is not like totally random um, if you use pearly noise it's definitely gonna use uh, look a little bit better this ripple seems like a slightly a little bit thick, but maybe we can change the this canvas and there is a this dynamic pain wave kind of see open borders. Okay, we can make it open borders and then. Maybe adjust the damping, spring, smoothness, all those we can adjust. Let's try 0.1 on the spring. And now it's looking a little bit better, more interesting. If it's a puddle, of course, it's not always like square like this. You can use uh, different shapes. Um, time scale, time scale waves. If I turn off open borders, it's actually looking a little bit more like a puddle because the ripples actually comes back. Well, anyway, I think I'll leave you um, to adjust all the settings and play around with it and see what you can come up with. Um, hopefully, this is useful. Let me know uh, if you have any more feedback, suggestion in the comments below. 
Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.